Hello and welcome to Lacrosse Techniques with Shriver Lacrosse. I'm Connor and today we're teaching you about long stick defender positioning. Just like playing short stick defense, body position is everything when playing close defense in lacrosse. Oftentimes, inexperienced players think that because they have a long pull, they can go crazy and start chasing after the ball carrier. But more often than not, they get themselves out of position and create opportunities for the offense. It is true that long stick or close defenders have better opportunities to create turnovers than short stick defenders. But that's only true if they play fundamentally sound defense. In short, body position and controlling where your offensive player moves on the field is the most important part of playing defense in, at any position. There are three main areas for long stick players to defend. They are the left wing, the right wing, and behind the goal, commonly referred to as X. The primary objective in all positions is to keep your offensive player in the least threatening areas of the field. The least threatening area is behind the goal and ideally moving towards the back corners of the field. In order to force and keep your opponent behind the goal when defending either, either wing, you need to first control how you approach them. Many defenders approach their offensive players straight on when they should close out to their opponent in a slightly upfield position. Being slightly upfield of your opponent puts you in a position to step upfield, stopping a topside dodge. In addition, you'll be able to stay in their back hip pocket and drive them behind the goal when they dodge or when they roll back down the alley. This is the same whether or not you're defending from the left or the right wing. When defending from X, you should still not line up directly between your opponent and the goal, as this will give them the advantage in choosing which direction you will go. Instead, you should position yourself to the side of the field that is closest to the sideline. So if your offensive player is on the left half of the field, then you should position yourself slightly to the left, and if you're on the right half of the field, you should position yourself slightly to the right. What this does is set you up as a defender to react more quickly when your opponent dodges. When your offensive player dodges towards you, think of it similarly to stopping a topside dodge from the wing. Step up and get your body in front of the dodge. If you only put your stick up, a good offensive player will dodge through it. Once you force them to turn back, don't over pursue them. Let them continue behind the goal because they are not a true threat until they begin to push goal line extended. Just to clarify, goal line extended is the imaginary line that extends from the front of the goal, sideline to sideline. So as your opponent dodges, towards the opposite side of the field, continue to fall in their back hip pocket. As they cross the center line of the field, begin to move back uh, to the top side position. By the time your offensive player reaches goal line extended, you should be in position to swing your hips and shoulders around parallel to the end line. Putting your body in between the dodger and the top side of the field will force them to turn back behind the goal. Once they do roll back, continue to follow in their back hip pocket until they cross the center line of the field. At that point, you can regain upfield position and prepare to turn them back at the goal line extended again. Continue trailing and turning them back at goal line extended and keep them behind the goal until they lose the ball or until they pass it. One important point to keep in mind is that you're not following or chasing the offensive player. Instead, you're defending certain areas of the field. In this case, the areas immediately to the left and right of the goal. You don't have to go step for step with your opponent. Instead, wait until they start to threaten the goal line extended and then take a tighter angle towards the point where you will meet the dodger. All offensive players have to stay out of the crease, or uh, if you don't know what the crease is, it's that circle, that line around the goal. As a defender, you can take a shorter path by running straight through the crease to the point where the offensive player is trying to reach. Using this method will allow you to beat the offensive player to the goal line extended. If you get stuck behind the goal playing defense as a short stick, my advice is to not throw checks. Instead, focus on your positioning and push with your hands and body when turning your opponent back. However, as a long stick, you have much more reach and you should 
poke and lift either the bottom hand or the elbow of the offensive player. Constant checking will distract the dodger and potentially force a bad pass. But first comes positioning and then throwing checks. It doesn't matter how good you are at throwing checks if you don't have proper position. Get your position dialed in and then think about trying to cause a turnover. If your feet start to slow down as you throw checks, then hold back on the checking and work on your body positioning before moving on. Thanks for watching this video on long stick defender positioning. Let us know if you have any questions about defending attackmen. Check out our video on defensive midfielder positioning to learn how to defend from up top. Please support us by subscribing and stay tuned for upcoming videos on fast breaks and face-offs.